Hello, anyone. Mr. Skyson here, and welcome to Sulka. Sulka? Suica? Uh, this game. Because I was in the mood for some chill gaming, today we do some super calm, physics-y platforming that reminds me a lot of a whole new world that I played long ago and was a part of, so go check that game out sometime. Sulka was made in about 60 hours by a single developer and stars this little bird sleeping up here who is trying to... You know, I don't actually know what the little bird's trying to do, so let's go find out. Oops. I think we died. Oh. Well, Fred. A game over and we barely even gotten started. Except I live! Huzzah! And the art style, the, the design, reminds me a bit of Pico 8 games. Got that little 8-bit style going on. So, in this game, you are a bird on bounty platforms. It's kind of neat. I like a little extra flair. They don't really do anything. It's just for looks. But I like it when developers, you know, put that little extra detail in. Like, you're just in, in a casual little void, I guess. Uh, but the platforms, they've got character. They're not just hard blocks or anything. They're springy. That way, you don't break your little bird legs or your head. I saw that they spring from the bottom as well. Whenever you make a hard impact. Speaking of, I think these are danger. Loops? Probably spikes. Ugh. So let's try to avoid those. Overall, yep, it's some basic platforming. Simple controls. You saw them a couple of screens ago. I don't know if it works with gamepad. I would assume maybe. But you get a few options on keyboard. So yeah, it's just old school platforming. Point A, point B, reach the door, save the day, or something. Whatever our quest is. Maybe we're just on our way home. Maybe we're going to market. Uh, yet from experience, I'm pretty sure we can't make that jump. I cannot double jump, but sort of. <laughs> I can spam jumping in place, that's kind of neat. Oh, and I'm just realizing I'm all springy and stuff. Ew. So even though we've got the, uh, the sort of 8-bit look to us, we got some nice animations going on. I appreciate that. Got the platforms that are all springy. I'm all springy. Good job, developer. You got a nice, a nice sense of flair. Now, what do I do here? I die. Hello. Who are you? Huh. Well, I don't think we're going home. Yeah, and splat. <laughs> Is that going to be a recurring thing for us? Just splattering everywhere. So, yeah. Up until this point, we've just been doing basic platforming. But again, as I've said... It's got elements that remind me a lot of A Whole New World. For those unfamiliar with it, that one had a theme of two worlds, where, whoop, one world was upside down. So we get that going on in the game, and that's pretty rad. And it's probably one reason why the platforms have two sides to them. So, you gotta work with the physics. Keep on moving. Speedy thing go in, speedy thing go out. Maintain all that momentum. And... What's with the little dotted lines on these? They are more solid. They are made of stronger things. Up! Oh, run away! And I always love this sort of mechanic in games. It's one of the things that caught my eye about it. Yep. Yep. Something that I'm familiar with. And... I don't know. It's just fun messing with this sort of thing. Whee! And it's a game that is super easy to pick up. I'm going through this blindly. I'm just having fun. So, uh... Spike things. Super fun there. Okay. I think I gotta worry about you guys getting misaligned. Uh, whoop, whoop. Maybe. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Oh, then we go up here. Mm, gonna wait till you're over here, right? Whoa! And away! Such a happy little bird. And with your little scarf. Okay, what do we do here? And of course, we got super chill music going the entire time. So yeah, it's just a pure calm time. Halfway there. All right. Then we've died again. <clears throat> Dead. Except not. And now we get keys. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. We're learning. Giving us small rooms to learn with. Oh, and by the way, oh, 
I'll show it off in the next room, I guess. Whee! It, when doing the controls for the upside down, they're exactly the same as when you're right side up. So I kind of appreciate that, like up is still jump, regardless. Like you don't suddenly hit down to do jumping. Whoop, 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 hey hey, and whoop. Now it gets tricky. Hmm. I feel like it might be better going from the other way. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. All right. <laughs> I like how those are probably meant to be spikes. Oh my. Uh. Whoop. All right. Simple enough. Yeah, I like how these are probably supposed to be spikes. You know, just don't touch or you'll die. Meanwhile, everything in this game is like round padded fun. Okay, I made it. Like, everything about this game is chill, even the danger. And I like that. Wee! Oh, hmm. Hmm. Uh huh. Oh, get down to you. Wee! Oh, I missed one. Oh. And as long as you stay with it, you maintain that momentum. So that's cool. You touch anything else, you might lose it. Ooh. Getting tricky now. Hip. Ah. Yeah. Saw that coming. Hip. Ow. Can't make that jump. Or can I? Hip. I can. Heck yeah. And. Get ahead of it. Wee. 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 Cool. It's a sort of puzzly platformer game that even my pudding brain can understand. I like that. Hip. Teaching us doing other things now. Going between other platforms. I like that in a game. Teaching you uh, new mechanics in its own little area. That way you're not learning everything on the fly and still have room to get creative. Hup. And up. I'm a smart little bird. Look at me go. Oh. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. And then we do this. Yeah, yeah. Look at me go. The smartest bird around. I like how the keys just kind of appear like that. Uh, okay. I've done this kind of puzzle before. Whee! Oh. Oh. Do I gotta worry about going off the map? Get a screen wrap with that. Just go infinitely fast through the loop. Get some portal action going on. Ow. Oh. Oh. How's this gonna go? Yep. Ew, all the little round spikes make me slightly uncomfortable. Oh, I messed it up. Yep, yep, and then you, yeah, and then you, yeah, and then oh, oh, careful, little bird. A little bit uncomfortable with all that going on. I can't tell. Do you have a main body? Or are you just a series of five squares spiraling around? Oh. Okay, this one's deceptively simple. Oh, wait, no, there's a challenge. Blech. Trying that again. I know what I need to do. It's just dealing with the big spike ball there. Woo! I did that very smoothly. Yep. Um. Okay, I think I need to do this to go the whole way. Yep. Up. 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 Made it. All right. First try. Ooh. Uh. Another nest. No keys. Oh, is this the end of the game then? The final puzzle. Uh, what do we need to do? Up. 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 Up, up. Do I gain momentum as I go? Up. Oh yeah, uh, I think we are. At the very least, I'm going further and further off screen. Do I gotta worry about dying? Wee! Hey, I made it. Home again. I guess. We're in a nest. I don't know whose nest. Could be ours. You know what? We're taking it. This is my nest now. Sokka. And as so, Sokka found a new home. All thanks to you. Thank you for playing. 
game was made in approximately 60 hours by this person. Neat. So yeah, just a short little platformer, nice and simple, a little bit of physics, a little bit of puzzling, just a good calm time to some calm music, and I liked this. You don't always need in-your-face content, a bunch of decoration, a bunch of scenery all the time. Sometimes you just want simple platforming. And apparently it gets speedrun options. I'm not really much of a speedrunner, but it absolutely has that potential because it's, it's all very simple. I just did kind of poorly in some areas and I don't think that would be conducive to a good speedrun, so I'll leave that to everybody else. But anywho, this has been Solka. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, then give the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, then give the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I will see you all next time, and remember to stay groovy.